Hello and welcome to your team Rick. In today's video, yeah, it's gonna be a short one, but uh, it's demonstrating a uh, interesting uh, uh, launch system I've created. So you see this uh, interesting looking apparatus on screen, and yes, this is a uh, my take on a uh, spin launch uh, concept. Basically a spin launch concept, it's been done in real life. Basically, give a uh, launch vehicle a bit of extra delta V, or just give it some initial velocity, uh, spin it, and just uh, spin it around a point and then let go of it, and now give it some uh, extra velocity in a specific direction. This works much better in real life when you can have a smaller uh, vehicle that's inside a vacuum chamber, allowing it to reach much higher rotations per minute. This, the vehicle spun around several times, probably negating any delta V gain. But uh, we can continue on to orbit anyways. I had those uh, reaction wheels and fins to help us uh, even out after we detached. This took a bunch of iterations to finally work. And yeah, now this is a pretty normal uh, launch, so that uh, explains why it's such a uh, short video. And uh, this uh, rocket uh, uses a restock of 0.625 meter diameter tanks with some uh, near-future launch vehicle's engines. And we've just in the first stage. You can uh, see the uh, spacecraft. Super simple. Nose cone is built onto it. All this probe core, battery, three antennas, and a micromolder uh, counter. And because, uh, basically, I installed less real than real. It's a, a version of a realism overhaul meant to work at smaller scales. It's kind of broken my install, so I'll go back through with some stuff. In fact, I'm recording a shorter video because I need to take some time to fix some stuff. But yeah, this is basically a rhythm overhaul a science experiment. And so, we're not going to be able to measure some uh, cosmic rays in orbit. At least until the save file gets deleted uh, because I need to uh, fix stuff. But yeah, shorter video. I hope you liked it. Yeah, please like and subscribe, and goodbye!